Okay, so I'm back from Australia. Yeah. He's back! He's back! So, organized a game at Chinatown Complex. Just trying to get things started again. Haven't touched the ball in about, I don't know, two to three weeks. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's see some highlights. Let's see some highlights. Because that's what you guys are here for, right? Okay, time now is 8.07. Uh, you can see behind the skyline. Oh wait, let me wipe the camera. Okay, I can't see you like that. Okay, like, whatever, like, but you guys can see. Let me bring you guys to see what's happening. So just play a couple of games. Uh, lots of people today. You can see, let me show you. There's like at least 12 guys here. Eight guys in a court on the opposite side. It's a one whole row of guys. Down there, I think at least I've got another 20 guys. So, gonna be a lot of basketball. And I'd like to do a quick breakdown of one of the players that came down that day. And this person is Adrian. Adrian is a big guy. He's about 190 cm. And as a player on the court, it's all about making the right reads. It's more than just being able to score off the dribble or get a basket deep in the paint. Basketball is a chess game and not every play is made with the ball. Let's take a look at what he does well on the court. In this first play, he immediately seals after I get over the screen. This is super subtle but this forces the defender to make a decision whether to contest my shot or help down low in the paint. On this next play, Adrian does the exact same thing. And as you can see from this play, Adrian has created so much space for himself by sealing his men on his back. He also knows where the offense should flow. He makes a screen down low and even points out to the ball handler where to pass it to. The ball handler didn't see me curling and passes the ball to Adrian, but Adrian knows that I'll be open with my man slacking behind him. He sees his teammate running over him, recognizing the play, and has already prepared to make the pass if no help Oof. defenders floods the pin. The exact same play, but this time his teammate gets tagged. So he reads and reacts accordingly and pulls up for the jumper. And talking about his jumper is wet every single time, which is always good for the game. Okay, so recently, uh, the 3x3 has been super popular in Singapore. I think they are trying to push the that format of games. But I'm thinking like, why isn't there any like 4v4 kind of formats? Yeah, maybe I should organize like a 4v4 format tournament kind of thing. Let me know in the in the comments down below. You know, if you're interested in that. Hmm. Coming to the end of the night, but just before we go, let's let's speak to some guys. Hey, Keith. What's up? Welcome back. Hey, thanks. Good to have you. Yeah. What do you think, alright, if we organize like a four v four competition? You know, nowadays like a lot of three x three, right? But instead of three x three, play four v four. I think you should start one. And uh, if you're watching, you no, know, do remember to subscribe. Remember to share this with all your friends who are basketball players in Singapore as well. And if you haven't joined our Telegram group, 
to join us. The link is in the description box down below. You can check us out there. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.